a, a, a physical separator used for separation of materials of different conductivity. Uh, this is what's called an electrostatic or high tension roll separator and is used a lot in the mineral processing and metal recycling industry. So if you want to come in and zoom in on the roll, uh, you'll see here we have a what well, we have an earthed roll with the titanium face upon it. Uh, and we also have the, the, the wire there is a, a high tension uh, corona discharge system which puts through about 2,000, uh, sorry, 20,000 kV through it. Um, our feed material for this particular demonstration is a 50-50 mixture of copper and aluminium. And what I'm going to try to do is separate uh, the material based upon their individual conductivities. The aluminium has slightly less conductivity than the copper what will happen is when I pass it off the vibratory feeder onto the roll, the particles will be charged by the uh, corona discharge system here. When they hit the earth roll, uh, the material that has the highest conductivity will discharge its charge quicker to the roll and be thrown off by its own centrifugal force. And material that is less conductive will keep it uh, what's called an image force on the roll surface and be attached to the, to the roll and be discharged around the other side of that splitter plate there. This material is probably about one millimetre uh, down to about 500 microns. Wouldn't be separated on an eddy current separator. that we have from this test are in the tray here. We have the, for the, for the sake of the test, the non-conductors, which are here, which you can see are predominantly aluminium with a, with a tiny bit of copper fines within that material. So it needs closer size classification to get a perfect separation on that. And we have our copper here, which was thrown from the roll because it has more conductivity. There we have some aluminium in there but that's a larger size range. So again, if I screened it at a slightly different size range, I'd be able to get uh, an effective separation between the copper and the aluminium. What these would then go to is a second separator, which would recover the uh, electrostatic separator that would re recover some more of the aluminium to give you a final product that would be 98 to 99% to pure metal. So a simple way of producing material it's too small for an eddy current separator, but these, instead of being a mixed conductor fraction, which this was 50-50 to begin with, after one pass, I've got a pretty good aluminium concentrate. I've got a copper concentrate here that can be further processed for upgrading um, using a simple roll separator uh, in a dry process, which will take, you know, a metre wide unit will take three to four tonnes per hour of material for processing.